Yes, my name is Lance Davison. I am the coordinator for the Treasure Valley Canopy Network, and I also provide assistance to Idaho Power Company and our partners with the Treasure Valley Shade Tree Project. The Shade Tree Project was started in 2013 uh, by Idaho Power Company with several municipalities around the Treasure Valley, and we're looking to plant shade trees in a location where they reduce residential energy use. So the best location that we've found for planting trees is on the west side of houses. So our slogan is West is Best. And we have individual residents sign up to get trees and then they come in different locations, usually on Friday and Saturday throughout the week and pick up their trees. And then there are small trees that they can plant in their yard that over time will grow and shade their houses, reducing their energy use. and. We say after uh, five to 10 years, the tree will get big enough to potentially reduce your energy use by up to 15%. The Treasure Valley Canopy Network is a network that started back in 2009 with a group of professionals, uh, mostly from agencies led by Idaho Department of Lands, looking to learn more about the benefits that urban tree canopy provide for air quality, water quality, uh, all those different um, pieces that help us recognize why we would grow trees in Idaho and the Treasure Valley. And so in 2013, we were able to get funding to develop uh, Urban Tree Canopy Assessment, which came out with all of that data that provided us information on what benefits tree canopy provides. And it also provided information on um, exactly where we could plant trees to recognize these benefits. So now, all that data is driving a partnership that is uh, working together to make our communities better, more vibrant and healthy through planting trees and um, preserving our green space in our communities. The effort began in 2009, led by Idaho Department of Lands, uh, and mainly a lot of uh, government agencies were involved, including uh, Idaho Department of Environmental Quality, Ada County Highway District, Southwest Idaho Resource Conservation and Development Council, the local city forestry departments from Boise, Cuna, Meridian, and Nampa, and also Idaho Power Company. And then as we completed our urban tree canopy assessment and, uh, and developed some of our tools, we started to see more partners come on board, uh, which have included uh, U.S. Green Building Council, Ecosystem Sciences Foundation, Arbor Day Foundation, Boise State University, and College of Western Idaho. I think what I really enjoy is working together with people to make a difference and have an impact on the community that I serve. And so this project is rewarding in many different ways. One is that I work with and for people that are passionate about what they do. Um, they are natural resource and uh, public professionals that want to serve their community and want to make Boise and all the Treasure Valley um, more healthy and vibrant to uh, for our kids and grandkids for years and years to come. So that's very rewarding to me. And then also seeing those impacts in the community that I live in, that I can raise a family here um, and have vibrant streetscapes where everybody is healthy and safe to ride their bikes or walk, um, enjoy that time outdoors. Uh, there's The Treasure Valley is such a beautiful place uh, and we have so many great natural assets that as we start to build our communities and grow our communities, if we can grow them in a way that builds that kind of healthy and sustainable lifestyle, uh, that is a place that everybody wants to live. First of all, I'd like to thank the leadership of the Idaho Department of Lands and the funding support from the U.S. Forest Service for providing us the funding to develop these resources for our communities. And then second of all is really to thank all the partners that we work with, Idaho Power Company with the Shade Tree Project, all of the communities that we work with, all of the public, private, and nonprofit partners that help us develop resources that really help support and enhance the livability in our communities. Uh, and then third of all, I'd encourage all of you to take a look at our resources that we have available. We have a website at www.tvcanopy.net and we also have uh, Twitter and Facebook feeds where we consistently share information with people that follow us so that we can not only help you understand what's going on in the resources we're providing, but we can also learn from you to produce more resources um, that can benefit and create really healthy and uh, thriving communities.